In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for Ki plus Br2, potassium iodide plus bromide gas. When we have two things here, this potassium and the iodine, and then just one single type of element here, we're thinking that it's probably going to be a single displacement reaction. So the bromine that comes in pushes out the iodine. So now the iodine, it's all by itself. It's been replaced by the bromine. The bromine and the potassium there together, we get potassium bromide. So that would be a single displacement reaction. We do need to check to see if the bromine is reactive enough to push the iodine out. And we can use this activity series of the halogens here, group 17, sometimes called 7A. If we look at this right here, we have bromine, which is not very reactive, but the bromine, it's more reactive than the iodine. So the bromine is active enough, it's reactive enough to push the iodine out. So we have this single replacement reaction. Let's balance this and just talk briefly about reduction oxidation. So to balance the equation, it looks like I need a two here. So I have two bromines. Then I need a two in front of the potassium iodide. Balances the potassium. We have two iodine atoms, two here. That's the balanced equation. If I wrote the oxidation states in, you can see that the iodine has a minus one oxidation state here and it goes to zero, it's a free element. So its oxidation state has changed, it's lost electrons. The bromine goes from zero to a negative one. So it's a free element here at zero, goes to negative one, it's gained electrons, it's reduced. So this is a redox reaction because we've had electrons exchanged as well. So redox and single displacement. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Ki plus Br2, potassium iodide plus bromine gas. Thanks for watching.